ABC News and People Magazine have teamed up to find out what you think are the greatest television shows of all time. And you registered more than one million votes. Now then, our next TV category has all but revolutionized television in the last 20 years, reality TV. It has proved, sometimes to our dismay, that you don't always need actors or writers to make successful television. Everything you need to learn about life, you can learn from reality TV, right? How to find your true love. Chantel, will you accept the strokes? How to behave in restaurants. How to make your parents proud. There are shows about famous people and their talents. Her ass makes money, honey. Shows about making it in business. You're fired. In fashion. I'm sorry, you're out. And in food. Please return to the kitchen and pack your knives. So what did you pick as the best reality show of all time? Your number five pick for the best reality show takes you out to sea, where men risk their lives for the deadliest catch. What it's all about. We're taken into this insane world of crab fishing on the Bering Sea. Is that all you got? It's essentially wave, 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 crab. Wave, cigarette break, wave, wave, crab. Danger punctuates the tedious reality of life on these fishing boats. 800-pound crab pots fly, decks get slippery, and you can get swept overboard by a 30-foot wave. This deckhand is smashing his finger. That blur in the table, that's his fingertip. These guys are chain-smoking, storm-beaten, very rough around the edges guys. In one month, they can make a year's income if the crabs are biting. And you just watch and you're like, oh my God, is there crab? Is there crab? And I haven't been this concerned with whether there were crabs since college. Yeah! Your fourth choice for best reality show, a traveler's worst nightmare. We got a flight to make. But with the kind of prize you dream about, a million dollars, the amazing race. Go! Now in its 21st season, the show racks up awards to the dismay of its reality show rival. The Amazing Race wins the Emmy and beats American Idol every year. Teams of two race across the globe. Please go! Faster! Go now, now! Deciphering clues and testing their nerves. Ah! But the biggest challenge might be getting along with your partner. You're psychotic. You know how you go on vacation with someone and you want to kill each other, but you're not in a competition? Well, imagine being in a competition. When are you just going to carry your own weight? Ow! Oh my God, I hate you! This couple, unfortunately, did not meet the challenge. You gotta be the man right now. Can you be the woman and be quiet then? And the number three best reality show, Survivor. Survivor became a blockbuster success because you really believed it was a game of survival. It was a game that put ordinary people on a deserted island, deprived them of showers and enough food, and set up a million dollar prize. It was human nature at its best and at its very worst. If I were ever pass you along and you were laying there dying of thirst, I would not give you a drink of water. My strategy is to keep everyone on my side, man. Two days ago I told Listen you that plan. To me. Don't yeah. interrupt me. Now I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. From the South Pacific to Central America, Survivor has transfixed viewers wow. and showed that sometimes it's the fittest or maybe the most devious who come out ahead. I'm planning something different and it's a little sneaky. <laughs> the winner of the first Survivor competition is... Rich. But losers can also be winners. This woman, Elizabeth, was voted off the island, but I voted her to join my tribe. Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Welcome, Elizabeth. Survivor, on the air for 25 seasons and still going strong. The tribe has spoken. And at number two. This is American Idol. A show with the power to make dreams come true. American Idol didn't just award prizes, it launched careers. The winner is Kelly Clarkson. From season one winner, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Jordan Sparks! To Jordan Sparks. Carrie Underwood! To Carrie Underwood. And this summer's breakout pop star, Philip Phillips. Philip Phillips. Idol has single-handedly reinvigorated the music business.
On the American Top 40 Countdown, we've had so many American idols the last 10 years that it's, it's truly made an impact on the chart. And because of Idol, Ryan Seacrest has become a household name. He has gone on to become one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. Though when Idol first started, he was worried that he might be voted off. I was terrified. I put on a, a bit of a brave face for the first couple of episodes. I wasn't quite sure how to run a, a live television show. Like Seacrest, the original judges also have become household names. Randy Jackson, Paula Abdul, and Simon Cowell, whom we all love to hate. I think you're amazing. Really? Uh, it's amazingly dreadful. You have one of the worst voices I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but there's no denying that Idol's golden touch has affected even the losers, like runner-up Adam Lambert. There was a time when I was so broken hearted. Do you think you should have won? Honestly, I got to the end. I got all the opportunities out of the show that I wanted. I feel like I won in my own way. Perhaps the biggest example of Idol's Jennifer influence, Hudson. Jennifer Hudson was voted off early, but went on to win an Oscar. And now, the reality show you gave the highest marks to. Finally, I am excited. Your choice, the best reality show of all time, Dancing with the Stars. There's great dancing, there's great costumes, and there's dieting before your eyes. What's not to like? Actresses, athletes, playmates, Olympians, and even other reality show stars take part in the grueling competition. The show is brutal. I need a break! Dancing at least five days a week, six hours a day, they burn off 7,500 calories every week. Why do I want to watch these people dance? Because they're terrible. And you get to watch them be terrible for a while, and then they get better to the point where they're not super bad. And you feel so proud of them. And we're rooting for them through spills, wardrobe malfunctions. It was a bit top heavy at times. Even fainting spells. And the fun of the samba. <laughs> And all these moves can be a good career move. Dancing with the Stars is an amazing platform for, you know, for anyone like me who wants to sustain a career in this business. Before I did the show, I felt like I was a little bit broken, thinking, what do you do with the rest of your life? That's easy. You take one more turn in the spotlight on Dancing with the Stars.